That filled her room. Have we here? Ooh. Finders, keepers. Is this Alan coming? Huh. Mm. Mm. Ha! believe in celebrities, old girl? Ah, oh, celebrities. <laughs> well, uh, that's, a, that's a sticky one, isn't it? I, I'm not sure uh, what I'm being invited to believe uh, when I'm being invited to believe in celebrities, uh, or, or indeed, for that matter, what I'm being asked to, to, to disbelieve. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I'm with you, old stick. Mm. Well, you ask me to uh, say what I think about uh, Australia, uh, for, for example. And, well, uh, we can all agree, can't we, that uh, we all know what Australia is. A large continent, a uh, crocodile dundee, uh, neighbours, home and away, Oster's Lager, and so on, so on, and uh, Given that, given that, um, we can all agree a procedure 
um, for agreeing what it is we're talking about. But, uh, well, the thing with celebs is that uh, there's no uh, broad consensus on, on what a celeb is, is there? Hmm. Well, that's throwing down a bit of a challenge. Let's think. Celebrities. Hmm. Well-known personages of the day. The most celebrated of the most talented among us. Ah! <laughs> the celebration of human talent. That's another question again. I mean, uh, well, it has the grammatical appearance of a question, but I wonder, does it really mean anything? Hmm. Well, let's see now. Uh, we might say, for example, that uh, the Kardashian family member has talent, right? Right. Well now, but would we say it in the same way that we would say that James Brown or Chris Christopherson had talent? Well, yes. Ah, but would we? Yes, yeah. Would we, you see? I mean, we would say, wouldn't we, that uh, Kim Kardashian uh, broke the internet with her R's, but displayed no particular talent in doing so. And I, I mean, we wouldn't want to say, uh, would we, that uh, Kim Kardashian deserved an, an Academy Award, or, or Mobo, uh, for, for having done so. I, I mean, would we? Mm, no. Well, clearly then we have a, a logical difference of usage uh, in that uh, it seems that uh, celebrity is, is not, in fact, uh, dependent on talent. I mean, uh, one wouldn't say, for example, that the, the average uh, Big Brother contestant uh, had been trained vigorously for years in a certain skill, <laughs> except in the case of Brian Bellow, <laughs> uh, in whose case one might say that life itself had... Uh, prepared him for a career in clowning, uh, such that uh, even the great Lecoq himself could not have provided. True, <coughs> true, but there is such a thing as natural talent for which training is not needed. Uh -huh. I prefer to put it a different way. There is such a thing as natural training for which talent is not needed. <laughs> needed. <gasps> mm. Yes. <laughs> ah. Silly old Stephen.
like a cup of tea my darling oh oh no no okay oh, oh no might just sit myself here you know I'll, I'll move this sheet i might just um i might just give it a fold up of course there was that scene in neighbors you know when um des and daphne were first together and they hadn't told eileen clark you know they had to um put wrap the oh, sheets around them you know no. and um eileen clark of oh, course no. walked in you know on des and daphne and oh, they were all cuddled up together and she didn't realize of course that they oh, were married no. But they got married and not told um, Des's mother, who was oh, Arlene Clark, who was played by Moira de Groot, who was, who was also friends with the great oh, Mrs. Mangle, of course. But then um, Moira de Groot had to leave oh, Mavis because she wasn't very well, you know, and she did unfortunately pass away oh, in, in real, real life sort of thing. But, you know... Um Ha 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 